this theoretical physicist may soon make time travel a reality. Ronald Mallet is a professor emeritus of physics at the University of Connecticut. I do believe that time travel is scientifically possible. I've been able to solve Einstein's gravitational field equations of general relativity for a circulating beam of laser light, showing the possibility of twisting space and time in such a way that information may be sent back to the past. My name is Ron Mallet, and this is my hi-ho, ask me anything. Hi, Professor Mallet. Can you tell us what you think would be the first step in proving your theories? First, you have to show that a circulating beam of light will cause a twisting of space, and that hasn't been done yet. That doesn't require that much energy, by the way. But even to do stage one requires hardware. People don't realize just how expensive real experiments are. The Large Hadron Collider, they just smash subatomic particles together to see what they get. That costs $10 billion. So the theoretical equations are there. But what we have to do is to get the funding in order to have the hardware. And we haven't gotten sufficient funding yet. Hey, Professor, I understand that if we got a spaceship and we orbited it around a black hole and we got to a point where it hit almost light speed, a day orbiting a black hole could be a year on Earth. And I can see how we could theoretically travel forward in time. But could you explain to me, as if I was like a five-year-old, how we do it the other way around? With a rotating black hole, a rotating black hole will cause space and time to become twisted. Imagine you have a cup of coffee and imagine that the coffee is like empty space and the spoon is the rotating black hole. What happens when you stir the coffee? The coffee swirls around. That's what the black hole is going to do to empty space. It'll cause the empty space to swirl around like the coffee. So if I can cause a twisting of space, I can cause a twisting of time. This piece of paper is the way in which time normally moves for us, past, present, and future. A rotating black hole will cause a twisting of space. And remember, this timeline is in space. So what happens is, is that this timeline will get twisted into a loop and we continue along the timeline into the future. But look what happens. Because I've made time into a loop, I can go from the future back into the past. In fact, these are called CTCs, closed time curves. Can you shift your own matter in terms of its location in time space, or would you send information back? Theoretically, you might be able to do with human beings, but to me, information is even more important. If you could send information back to the past, you could warn ourselves of tsunamis, earthquakes, and plagues. You could send information back in terms of the spin of neutrons, for example. Quantum mechanics, a spinning subatomic particle can have two different directions of spin, spin up and spin down. Let's suppose you assign a one to spin up and a zero to spin down. If you have a stream of subatomic particles with say spin up, spin up, spin up, spin down, that's binary code. So by using binary code and having a device that can receive that, we would be able to send information back into the past and translate that information just like computers normally do.